Okay, now in video 14 I've described uh, the standard model and then in video 19 I've described um, I've calculated um, accurately the uh, mass of the W boson and then in video 30 I've um, I've described uh, how the wave function collapses and then okay so and then that's what it looks like when it's collapsed 100% collapsed and then I've um, I've uh, uh, opened up this Desmos calculator here and uh, I've now I'm looking inside a proton say that's a proton and so you've got a, um, a red quark a blue quark and then down the bottom you might have a, a green quark so how do the how do those how does this color force work Okay, so I'm going to show that it works across the uh, flux tube, which is this one. In this case, it's a color flux tube. Okay, now to correctly calculate the W boson, the the small b value is is, a, is um, about 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees. Here you can see, so it's just about 0.5. Um, and I'm just going to roughly say that um, it's 30, 30 degrees and, and therefore the uh, the spin half particle angle is um, 60 degrees there so so the probability so you've got three quarks in, in superposition and their probabilities of um, changing color are each 75% uh, but the proton has to remain neutral so it can't happen um, simultaneously along two different flux tubes because then you'll end up with uh, this two of the same color and that's not a neutral proton neutral color proton so that's not allowed so so what happens so that's why I say that um, if one flux tube is say this uh, red say this red quark um, spits out a, a red and an anti blue then it's going to turn blue but simultaneously this um, this blue quark is going to have to spit out a, a blue anti red so that it turns red so that the overall the proton remains um, neutral only can only have one blue, one red, and one green quark. So this has, has to happen simultaneously. So this is not the entanglement. I see that this is the root that um, the color, or whatever property it is. In this case, it's the color property um, can um, tr um, super um, transfer uh, in a superconductor type of way, zero resistance. This is this is inside the quantum realm, inside the circle here. Okay, so let's go to something I can draw on. Hmm. Okay, so I've made something up that I can draw on, and you can see that you've got. Um, let's say you've got a, a red quark here. A blue quark here and a green quark here and this is a proton I'm not worried about whether up or down at the moment I'm just worried about the, the color force so let's say um, a blue wants to is going to turn into a, a red so it's going to have to spit out a, a blue anti-red gluon and it, simultaneously the red quark is going to have to spit out a red anti blue gluon and so these are this has got to happen simultaneously so 
so that um, they swap colours simultaneously and at the same time um, these other two um, these other other two um, in other words the, the blue green and the, the red green can't happen it's got to, this is these have got to go to zero percent probability and that's exactly what happens when this goes to a hundred percent probability so they're all they're all 75 percent probability but as soon as but when one happens the other two go to zero for probability of happening you know so so this is in other words the um, this goes to here and now you've got a hundred percent probability of that blue turning into red and uh, that red turning into blue and at the same time this has gone to zero probability of um, a color change so that's how the proton remains neutral <laughs>